came here to have a real conversation. We didn't come here to talk this mythology and foolishness about, um, uh, you know, I grew up in poverty and therefore I've just worked hard and got, that's not what we came here to talk no. about. We have a budget. If you, do, you got your budget, hold it up, Liz. I want the nation, I'm gonna speak to America, man. We want, I want to put, see the fun of it. Your, where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. You talk all day long about love and heart. Where your treasure is, where your heart <coughs> is. And justice requires not just praying and going to church, but it requires justice. Jesus said that people who engage in religiosity but do not have, care for justice, he called that hypocrisy. So let's talk about investment. Let's talk about that. Love in a democracy, we'd be investing in democracy and equal protection under the law. That's what's in here. It would be investing in domestic tranquility, investing in an equitable economy, fair taxes, raised income. It would be investing in life and health care and, 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 and full health care for everybody, equal treatment. It would be investing, investing in our future, investing in early learning, child care, health care, K through 12, higher education, include, inclusion for all undocumented youth, and HBCUs investment, tribal school investment. It, it, love would be investing in the planet, access to clean water and sanitation, addressing climate change through clean energy. Love, real love and justice would be <coughs> investments in peace and common defense ending the culture of war, reducing military spending, mm -hmm. ending militarism at home, eliminating militarism and immigration, eliminating militarism and policing and mass incarceration, and ending easy access to firearms. We came here with a plan, not just with partisan mm -hmm. mythology. We came here with a plan to challenge both Democrats and Republicans, but it seems like one side we really got the challenge, but we're going to work on everybody because we need a plan because the 43.5% and the 140 million people, their backs are against the wall and they are dying at a rate of 250,000 per year. Thank you, Reverend.